the day, eh? Beautiful. So this is our study plot to study the snowpack. If it's very tense, firm snow, you can see it, you don't even sink in. It's mid-December, it's definitely more than enough. You can definitely ski all average skier slopes. How you can ski steeper terrain, extremer terrain, that would definitely need a lot more testing before we can go there. As you clean it off, the layers start coming out. Okay, here we are. Elevation 1965 meters. Aspect North incline. We have to measure this. What to do now is I'm going to find the layers. That's a, then I mark it like this. Okay, and then we move on. You can also look at the shape and you see here the crystals start getting more shiny. This means they have recrystallized the and they're... So you look at the size of the crystal, the shape of the crystal, the penetration test and that combination gives you a good idea. If I can just push my fist right in then of course it's loose and dangerous. This we're going to find out now. The penetration test tells you a lot. And then you make the actual shear test. And that is like, kind of like simulating an avalanche. It gives you a good idea how easy does a layer shear or how bomb proof a layer is. Whoa. You see how uneven it broke here yeah. and down to here? Yeah. That means that's, that's what you want to see is uneven breaks. It's, there's no shear. Compression test, shovel you place in the back part, not here, so this, because this can always break out. So I want, what I want to test is actually the block, not this edge here. And of course I watch the edges, see if it collapses. Now 10, that means easy shear if it would have come, but it didn't go. So now I'm going on to moderate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this here, here. Now at 30, no result. Okay, so it is definitely no results further down. If they see something very unusual, then it kind of reminds me or tells me, you know what, have another look, watch this here. It's not engineering, it's not science, and it's not experience, it's the three together.